Today, nearly three million extraordinary service members have completed their service and they've become leaders here at home. Running a business for me has really been very similar to my experience as, as a platoon leader. You have to have that attitude that you'll pound your head in the wall until you break through or go left or right or under and over it. I went from planning road marches and rifle ranges to planning events and seminars. I wouldn't know what to do with a business if I hadn't had that training. You need to learn about how bureaucracies work, what is available, what's the job market really look like, should I buy a franchise. We're in the dawn of a new age of specialization. Be really good in your space and your niche and find those who need you and they'll find you as well. Have your elevator pitch knowing what it is that you want to do. If somebody asks how can I help you, you want to be able to have an answer to that. There are a number of different ways that you can help people find your products and services. One is through search engine optimization, which is helping people who are looking find you. If a customer comes in to buy tires, we'll top off their fluids. You provide them with excellent customer service they're going to come back and get their oil changed with you. People coming into my shop, if I see they have a certain level of expertise or a real big level of enthusiasm, I start asking questions and kind of say, hey, if you're interested, we're looking for somebody. The 26 federal agencies put out what's called RFPs, and in there you will see literally millions of dollars a day of contracts being set aside for veterans. I was on an airplane, and I was talking to the fellow sitting next to me. Well, it turned out he was a senior vice president in Kodak. You have to know daily what do you have in the bank, what needs to leave the bank, who do you have to pay, and what is coming in. The Department of Veteran Affairs partnered with Midas, which allowed me to not pay the entire franchise fee. When you're in the Marine Corps, at times you're living out of a fighting pole for a month at a time. RPGs came through the front of my vehicle, went right through my shoulder. And there's no better way to shore up the economy than to have thriving small business. Give your business its all, because collectively we can all make a difference.